the LG V20 user here, and today I've been a video about LastPass. So LastPass is making the change to its free tier. Um, so if you guys use LastPass on the free tier, you guys will be expecting some changes very soon, guys. So this news broke about um about a few weeks ago. So this um, news is old now. Um, so this um blog got published on February 16th. So, um, yeah, so if you guys want to check out this blog from Lions Fast, you guys can check out the link below. And it'll take you guys here. So it says, here, changes to Lions Fast Free. You're spending more time online than ever before. Work, school, connecting with friends and with family and friends. Each week, millions of Lions Pass users add millions of new passwords, notes, files, payment cards, and more to their encrypted vault. We love being, we love being a part of the security retains of more than 20 million users across the world. As our com as a community of users continue to grow, we need to adapt our offerings to keep up with the constantly evolving digital world. With that, we have made some changes to our last pass free offering. Here's what's changing. So you guys need to pay attention to this, guys. If you guys use the free version of last pass, or if you got to take my switch in the last pass or whatever, um, we're making changes to how free users access last pass across device types. Last pass offers access across two device types: computers, including all browsers, and running on desktops and laptops, or mobile phone or mobile devices. Including mobile phones, smart watches, and tablets. Starting on March 16th, which is what which is not to is what's about maybe a week away or so. March 16th, 2021, last pass for you will only include access on unlimited devices of one type. So if you guys need more clarification on what that is, last pass has two examples. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, so said Jimmy is a free user with computers as their active device type. They can use LastPass on her laptop, desktop, and their dad's laptop. Basically, in, basically anyone's computer. Basically anyone's computer. Basically any computer. If that is your device type, if if you have computers that's your device type, you will only be able to use LastPass on uh, computers, and that's it. But they can't use LastPass on their phone, tablet, or smartwatch unless they upgrade to LastPass Premium, which has unlimited device type access. Mm -hmm. Same thing as with mobile devices. Alex is a free user with mobile devices as their active device type. They can use LastPass on his iPhone. Android work phone, tablet, and smartwatch, but they can't use LastPass on their desktop or laptop unless they upgrade to LastPass Premium, which has unlimited device type access. So, pretty much the same thing. So, basically, when you guys log in, or if you guys log in or after March 16th, you guys will be, uh, if you guys, basically, what that means is if you log in to LastPass on March 16th or after, um, Whatever device you log on, that will be your active device type. So if you log in on the computer on that day, your device type, your active device type will be a, will be a computer. And if you log on to a phone on that day, the phone will be your active device type. It sucks, but I mean. Says as a free user, your first login at one or after March 16th will set your active device type. So like I just said, so whatever device you log on first on that day will be your active device type. You will have three opportunities to switch your active device type to explore what's right for you. Please note that all of your devices sync automatically. So you'll never lose access to anything stored in your vault or be locked out of your account, regardless of whether you use uh, whether you use computer or mobile devices to access LastPass. So 
It says, in addition to this change, as of May 17, 2021, email support will only be available for premium and family customers. So, if you guys want email support from LastPass, you guys will upgrade to the premium or family tier from LastPass. So, if you guys want the free tier and you guys need support, you guys will go to the um to the support center. Which sucks ass, in my opinion. Like, I don't know, it just sucks, man. What uh, what's like what uh, what LastPass is doing? That's just fucking terrible. Um. What was that? It says last pass for users will always have access to a support center and or will have access to our support center which has a robust library of self help resources available twenty four seven plus access to our last pass community which is actively monitored by last pass specialists. <coughs> free users will continue to receive email support for technical issues until May sixteenth to assess to the transition of selecting an active device type. So LastPass is doing they're basically what they're doing is they're basically killing their free tier and they're telling people to upgrade if they want to continue to use LastPass. Um if I was you I would um go somewhere else so you can get a password manager, I would go somewhere else like Bitwarden or NordPass and stuff like that. If you guys don't own LastPass right now, if you guys have the free version of LastPass, I suggest you guys export your passwords to a different password manager ASAP. I'm sure that I'm sure that live I'm sure that LastPass is gonna lose a lot of customers because of this. Of course LastPass needs to make money, of course. I'm not mad about LastPass making money, I'm not mad about that. I just don't like the change that uh, LastPass is doing to its free tier. I don't like that. Um, I get that LastPass does need to make money to keep it going. Obviously, you have to have money to keep your business going and to keep it at, uh, maintainable and all that. So LastPass has to make money. You know, LastPass do have free uh, uses and paid uses, of course. But with this change here, with the two changes here for the free tier. They're basically killing their free tier. They're basically killing it. They're basically telling you, hey, if you want to continue to use LastPass, you upgrade to the premium tier or the family tier. So, you know, it just sucks, you know. It just sucks, you know. Um, okay, where was I? Okay, it says if you'd like, I'm going to get the device types, access to email support. You can, you can upgrade from free to. Last pass premium for a limit time for two twenty five per month. <coughs> so that is a limit time offer. You can also enjoy all the perks of premium for you and up to five of your closest friend and family members with last pass famous for a limit time offer of three dollars per month though annually. Um, LastPass Premium at a glance. So if you guys don't know what LastPass Premium offers, here you go. It says LastPass Premium is a single and secure one stop shop to your digital life. It includes dark web, dark web monitoring, monitoring, emergency, emergency access, unlimited device type access, a security score, dashboard, dedicated personal support, advanced multi factor authentication and more at only three dollars per month which is about thirty six dollars a year which is pretty fucking cheap it's very, very affordable last pass is very affordable so I will give them that's very affordable so it's very cheap <coughs> last pass premium enables you to not only store your passwords but also protect your digital life which is more important the never end this new era of working from anywhere. <coughs> it says, as a current free user, you can upgrade to premium now for an exclusive limited time discount and receive premium for 225 per month. So that's a little, little, little limited time offer. So that's pretty nice. So, two, so 225 times 12, you do the math there. Um, 
Next up, for free users, we understand how much you rely on nice pads in your daily life, so we wanted to let you know. Well, we, we wanted to let you know well in advance and give you resources to make this adjustment easier. Here's what you need to know: you don't need to take any action, any direct action at this time. However, if you'd like to continue using nice pads on both your desktop and mobile devices, upgrade to premium or famous now. Starting March 16th, if you do not ever upgrade to premium or famous, the first device you log in on will become your active device type. So do keep in mind you do get three opportunities to change the device type you guys need to, but like I said, this export your password to my pass and then take them to a different password manager. Um says whether you continue to you, but, it says here whether you continue using LastPass free on one device type or across all the devices types of LastPass premium or famous. We are committed to offering you a best in class password management experience. We sincerely thank you for continuing to be a part of our LastPass community. So, I mean. Many things that LastPass is doing to the free tier, it sucks ass. They're basically getting into the free tier, basically what they're doing here. Um, they're telling people to upgrade to the premium tier, which is cheap. It's like three bucks a month, which is thirty six dollars a year, which is still cheap. Um, but if you upgrade right now, you can get a discount of two twenty five per month, so not too bad. It's like so, that's like well less than thirty six dollars a month. So um, either way, it's cheap. It's definitely affordable. Um, it's your choice if you want to continue to use LastPass or go to a different password manager. Um, I do like LastPass a lot, I really do, but I'm switching to a different uh, password manager anyway. So, yeah, I'm sure that um, LastPass is going to lose a lot of customers because of this. Um, if you have LastPass Premium right now, you are fine. You don't have to do uh, you, This does not affect you if you're on the Premium tier. This is this is this is not affecting you. So uh, this only affects the free tier of LastPass. So you do have the option of continue to use LastPass like it is, upgrade to Premium or Famous, or switch to a different password manager. You do have a choice, so you don't have to use LastPass if you don't want to. But if you do use another password manager, export your passwords to that. Exp export your um, passwords to a different password manager so you don't lose your password so uh, yeah I mean this shit sucks but you know it is what it is guys um, last pass do have to make money and I do understand that part of it but what they're doing to the free tier they're basically just getting rid of it so that sucks on that um so if you guys use LastPass, let me know if you guys are going to stay with LastPass or switch to a different password manager. Um, this sucks ass, but uh, it, it, I guess it is what it is, guys. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up, guys. It bless me out a lot. Please wait, can I subscribe? Thank you very much for watching my video, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.